Hello Internet, I'm back in Rock and Roll England, and of course I brought a leprechaun back with me, why wouldn't I? Welcome to the Boffnet family, Tom and Jesse. Tom, I really liked your video on Richard III. I'm terrible at history, so I hope you'll teach me more in the near future. Also, thank you for helping with my mission to fill the internet with all things Jane Austen. Your work is highly appreciated. On that note, I really like the quotation that you used in your last video. It's interesting because it comes from a short story called The History of England that Jane Austen wrote when she was 16. And as with a lot of things that she wrote when she was that age, it's difficult to know whether she's being sarcastic or not about the people who she writes about. So it's difficult to know whether she actually thinks those things about Richard III or not. As with a lot of what Jane Austen writes, I think it's important that we take it with a pinch of salt. Also, read Tom's attempt in his last video. Here is my attempt at drawing a map of the UK. Whereas we can see London is here, Leicester is here, and of course, Hogwarts is here. I once had to do a mock weather forecast in Spanish because that's the kind of thing that you do when you start learning a language. And I took in a map with loads of weather symbols on it and I said, in Wales this week, it's going to be really rainy, as usual. And somebody said to me, but you've put loads of sun symbols on Wales. And I said, no, I haven't. It turns out that I used to think that Wales was Cornwall and that this was just another part of England. 13-year-old me was not a geographer. OK, Internet, I think it's high time we had our first Boffnet book club. I promised you literature, and so far there hasn't been much of it. As it's the 200th anniversary of Pride and Prejudice, I thought it would be appropriate if we started with Persuasion. You'll notice that somebody appears to have taken a bite out of my copy. What I'm planning on doing is splitting the coverage into two videos, one for each volume, so that we have ample time to talk about the stuff that we need to talk about. Your homework for this week is to go away and read volume one, and then we'll talk about it next week. If you haven't read it already, in which case you're probably not a person, but whatever. What I think I'll do is talk about volume one as a whole briefly, and then we'll talk about the motifs that make the novel so interesting. Firstly, look at the methods of transport that people use. Look at the way in which certain characters use their carriages. Look at who travels in them. And most importantly, look at why the characters choose to travel in the first place. That's important for both volumes. I'm learning how to use J-cuts. Another way in which Austen develops her characters, particularly in Persuasion, is by telling us what they read. Look at the differences between A, the illiterate and the illiterate characters, and B, what the landed gentry choose to read and what the other characters choose to read. Persuasion is a novel that deals very closely with the relationship between the aristocracy and the navy, and it's a theme that Jane Austen felt very strongly about, because she had brothers in the navy. It's thought that the character of Admiral Croft is based on her brother Charles Austen. Look at how the two circles interact with one another, who chooses to interact with who, and more importantly, why they interact with each other. Both circles are prejudiced against the other in one way or another, and in the middle of the two you have Anne, who's forced to become a spokesperson for both sides. There are a lot more things to think about, but I'll leave them for the next video. Internet, you know what you have to do. Go forth and read with reckless abandon. Next week we'll have our first lesson on persuasion. And while you're reading, bear this quotation in mind. Anne Elliot has experienced something which none of Jane Austen's previous heroines, by temperament or incident, even came near. Internet, I'm Johnny, and this is The Boffnet.